the Imperium of Man. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. A million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself. For there is no peace amongst the stars. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke-wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God and their crews dedicated to the Omnisire's holy cause. The Scholar Progenium molds callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic Sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man, and his time is coming once more. We're out. Praise the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress hymnals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral. The year. It's 999M41. We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. And Cadia, the hymnals report that. It's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral. Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Geller Field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all Imperial vessels. Rally at coordinates 154 554. This isn't over. Such turbulence. Not since the Eye of Terror have I felt anything like it. Wait. This is not the Cadian system. Navigator, report. The Immaterium writhes, Lord Admiral. It has flung us far off course. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far, but not close enough. Still, we have been fortunate. Have our astropaths send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. We hold this position. What is this I smell? Another so-called warrior come to chance his blade? I am Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your death. Not this day, Lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the Warmaster's throne. We shall see. Ready main batteries. Excellent. 
Their firepower will be a great asset. Well met, Fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire to ours. We'll see them ended. tip of the spear. I calculate that the others will soon arrive. It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. A pity that war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Abradol at my side. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge new heroes this day. Let us hope they suffice. Seems they've come in strength, Lord Admiral. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. Survival probabilities are unfavorable. Recommend we withdraw. All ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. Magnificent Emperor. Is that what I think it is? The Sons of Dawn heed your call. Lord Admiral. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Faith is well enough, but hope and faith bring victory sooner. The war never ends, Lord Admiral. We shall fight it together! Traitor vessel destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. And allied ships? Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drang as how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Cadia. Ten thousand years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus Heresy. Ten millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal damnation and tore the galaxy asunder. Horus Lupercal may be dead, his body ashes and his memory the stuff of a cursed legend. But the wounds he wrought yet gape in the hide of an embattled Imperium. For the battle against Chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the civil wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own, and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of Man. Twelve world-shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the Millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of traitors slips its moorings as Abaddon launches his 13th and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only valor will serve. You've done well, Admiral. 
I see your reputation is not without justification. I live only to serve. And your service does you credit. Faith and fervor are returning to decimated worlds. The might of the Imperium is marshalling for vengeance. That's good. Our security battalions are at a low ebb. I'll oversee the press gangs. Admiral, we're receiving reports of a large Chaos fleet moving on the Cadian system. Get me the Lord High Admiral. Admiral Spire, a timely communique. Our Auspex arrays have detected a Chaos Armada on the edge of the Cadian system. We are aware. With your permission, Admiral, we'll move to engage. Good. You give an old man hope, Admiral Spire. Proceed. Wipe those heretics from the stars. The Emperor protects. Admiral, we're showing Imperial vessels engaged with traitor vessels around the ruins of Cadia. All specs is show massive damage across all vessels. They cannot endure long. Then we have arrived at a propitious moment. All ships, prepare to attack. I am also reading concentrations of plasmic stellazoa in local space. They are highly unstable and will explode on contact. I recommend we eliminate them before we engage the enemy, Admiral. Agreed. Let it be so. Lord Admiral, we can't take much more of this, and my strategium reports more enemy vessels inbound. Is this true? I concur. Hold fast, Captain. If the Emperor wills it, we shall be your salvation. in this place, only death at the War Master's command. Death there shall be, but at Cadia, the Emperor's will yet prevail. <laughs> have been destroyed or have fled with tails between their legs then it is a victory and one well won you have my thanks admiral we owe you our lives you owe the emperor your lives and your service in his name i will put both to use cadia stands the chaos fleet is dust on the solar winds my lord as it should be well done admiral the clarion you have sounded will echo throughout the Eye of Terror. The Imperium reclaims its own. Repopulation efforts are already underway. The scale of it. It's too much for a single sector. Indeed, Admiral. Many of the repopulation fleets are heading to Nemesis Tessera, which the Lords of Terror decree shall now fall under your command. I... I am humbled by their trust. Then, reward it with triumph, Admiral Spire. Eyes both near and distant watch your actions with great interest. The battle group Silver Dawn is returning to dockyards via Nemesis Tessera. You will protect it. Of course, my lord. Have a care. The area is infested with traitors and upstart Xenos. We shall do as our duty commands, my lord. The fortress Oubliette of Nemesis Tessera was once the Inquisition's most closely guarded secret. A bastion of knowledge and rigor, and a convocation point for the Imperium's most trusted servants. No more. The onset of the 13th Black Crusade set the world awash with treachery and war. Though Nemesis Tessera's dread secrets were stolen, the world itself endured thanks to the heroism of the Space Wolves and Inquisitor Ciro. From the doomed hive world of Chima Lomas, to the seditious penal world of Avaris Gulag, the sector remains crippled by corruption and heresy. Yet in the forsaken fields of the Obsidian Depths, 
Mutation, madness, and all their damned siblings are curiously absent. It is as if the Obsidian Depths border onto something not yet adequately defined, or perhaps waiting to be discovered. Admiral Spire, it is an honor to finally meet the hero of Schindelgeist. We have arrived at the rendezvous. Or should I say that most of us have? Almost a third of the fleet has yet to make contact. A high tally. Do you know why? It is impossible to be certain. The area is full of Auspex shadows and sensor clones. Ideal conditions for ambush. We must remain vigilant. We are moving towards the warp point. Understood. We are monitoring your progress. They're moving too slow. If someone comes for them, they're done. We are picking up new signatures nearby. We have them too, my lord. Bound to be trouble. Well, no one ever said a naval life was uneventful. Stand to battle stations. Signal identified. It's an Eldari vessel. The Phidias devils. Eldari? What do they want with the Silver Door? Admiral Spire, we need your assistance. Great. I know those markings. Tides have turned since we fought together against the Despoiler. Would that we had met in better circumstances. Out of regard for those days, I will allow you this opportunity to withdraw. Impossible. The vessels you protect are sailed one of our craft worlds. They shall not escape. The Silver Dawn attacked a craft world. No matter, I cannot allow you to harm them further. Then your death will herald theirs though it gives me no pleasure. that the Silver Dawn has successfully departed the region. You have done well. I did my duty, my lord. Why was I not informed of their mission? Need I remind you that there are some truths your rank denies you? It was not your concern. My concern is that the Eldari proved themselves valuable allies in the past. And foes, too, as I'm sure you are aware. The region of space now known as the Eye of Terror was once home to the Eldari Empire. A prideful, sensuous people, the Eldari realized too late the perils of excess. The fourth Chaos God, Slanish, was born from their debauchery, its coming heralded by a psychic scream that shook real space to its foundations and devastated the Eldari. The Crone Worlds are all that remain of the Eldari's fallen domain. They are blighted planets, consumed by the spreading unreality of the Eye of Terror, and twisted to new and nightmarish realities. Though the Crone Worlds are overrun by the servants of the Dark Gods, the Eldari have not entirely abandoned them. They cannot, for only here can the treasured Spirit Stones be harvested 
and thus the souls of the dying be saved from thirsting slanish. Such expeditions are fraught with peril, for there are few more dangerous places amongst the stars. Many who seek the Crone Worlds do not return. The Eldari have never recovered from the horrors of the Fall. They are a fractured, dwindling population on the brink of extinction. Most dwell aboard star-treading craft worlds, honing their peerless minds along the disciplined paths in the hope of staving off the perils of decadence and thus preventing a second, final catastrophe. But not all Eldari can bear the rigidity of craft world life. Some depart their homes, seeking adventure amongst the stars as Corsairs. Such lives are fraught with danger, but are also rich with excitement. These outcasts can be found in every corner of the galaxy, blazing a brief but exhilarating trail before madness claims them. The Drakari too live outside the structures of the Eldari path. Corrupt and cruel, they keep Slanish at bay, not with discipline and spirit stones, but by feasting on the torment of others. Raiders and slavers all, the Drakari are a blight upon the galaxy, as selfish as they are sadistic, as untrustworthy as they are cunning. But in recent days, the barriers between the Eldari factions have begun to crumble, with ever more gathering beneath the banner of one named Ivrain. These Inari keep their beliefs hidden, as hidden as their intentions. Should they be encountered on the battlefield, caution will serve you well. The Agrippina sector lies before you, and the Stellar Fortress Baleful Night. The battle station is lightly defended, and its destruction will halt the spread of heresy that so plagues this sector. See to it personally, Admiral. Bring Agrippina to justice. Drang out. As you order, Admiral. Set course for the Altor system. One moment, Admiral. Our orders are clear, Commodore. Or do you question the High Admiral's wisdom? I would suggest refining that wisdom, my lord. No sense striking until we're prepared. Defeat serves no one. The Forge World Agrippina itself would have fallen millennia ago, but for its formidable defenses, now bolstered by the Cadian diaspora. Even with Cadia lying in ruins, its scions stand firm beside Agrippina. And it is well that this is so, for the world's technological wonders have proven an irresistible lure to Chaos Warp Smiths. The Agrippina sector is a linchpin in the Cadian Gate's defenses, a laboring manufactorum that feeds nearby worlds with weaponry and much-needed munitions. Wealth abounds within its borders, and it supplies the Astra Militarum with many of its finest regiments. We have the battle station in sight, Admiral. Just where Lord High Admiral Drang said it would be. But the defenses? That can't be right. I need data, Commodore, not panic. Sorry, sir. Drang projected light defenses, but there's a whole armada waiting for us. Confirmed, Admiral. All specs arrays report full and accurate function. They were warned. There can be no other explanation. It seems we have a fight on our hands. Telemetry indicates a solar eruption underway, Admiral. It will reach our location in approximately one minute. It'll strip our void shields. Not just ours. Magos, is there anywhere we can seek cover? There is a high probability that the asteroid or the gas cloud will provide the protection we seek.
Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Solar activity. Yes, my lord. I will maintain a countdown on the strategic display. Enemy defense platform destroyed! Enemy station has taken severe damage! the last one, Admiral. The conflict zone is ours. And the battle station. Inert. I estimate no significant operations have been conducted here in some time. With every passing moment, this feels more like a trap. At the very least, they knew we'd be coming. Agreed, Commodore. I'll contact Lord High Admiral Drang. There must be a spy within the Admiralty. I've no doubt Drang knows where to look for him. Admiral Spire! Inquisitor Darkhammer, your reputation precedes you, my lord. As does yours, Admiral. And not all of it is as flattering as you might wish. Still, these are desperate times, and I have little choice. Lord High Admiral Drang is dead. Dead? You are certain? I placed the shot with care. Drang was a traitor an agent suborned by the thrice-cursed Alpha Legion. He has played us all for fools, and you more than any, Admiral Spire. His command is yours. His rank is yours. I'm sure you will prove your loyalty, one way or the other. High Admiral Spire, I have need of you. At your command, my Lord Inquisitor. I have reviewed your record, replete with commendations from heroes such as Commander Dante and Captain Abradal. I cannot help but be disappointed. Your stewardship of the Agrippina Sector leaves much to be desired. My agents have uncovered a mountain of false reports. They conceal evidence of Xenos slave raids on isolated outposts and fringe worlds. No officer under my command would... Let us hope not. But you will put an end to this travesty at once. Prove yourself worthy of the office entrusted to you. Purge the Xenos from this sector, High Admiral. High Admiral, Drakari raiders closing on Imperial transport ships. They're carrying thousands of new workers. All specs readings indicate the system is subject to intermittent radiation waves. We may not be able to rely on our sensors. Makes for a devil of a rescue. We'll all be blind out there, not see the raiders till they're right on top of us. And the same is true of our foes, Commodore. Are you suggesting we leave those transport ships in the raiders' clutches? How delicious. One mewling weakling offers himself to another. Do you have a name? Primitive. This is Lord High Admiral Spire of Battlefleet Gothic. Your predations will not go unpunished. Such spark. Such fire. Burning brief like a candle before the bitter moon. Green elsewhere, Admiral Spire. Your petty cloak of defiance is a poor raiment, unfitting to be worn before your betters. Degenerate Xenos. It is not my cloak that should concern you, but the lesson in humility I've come to teach. Or perhaps I shall tutor you. Yes, 
One can never have too many pets. You will take to the cage well, with proper encouragement. All ships, loose your claws, seize the freighters, bring their crews to me writhing in torment. Drukhari are vanquished. Of their vessels, only ruin remains. The fate of all slavers. Secure from battle stations. We'll offer what aid we can before departing. Alberton will rebuild. We read several Drukhari vessels, and are receiving a distress hymnal from a nearby mining complex. Do you think the two are related? Undoubtedly. All vessels. Full ahead to the mining complex. This system has suffered enough. The Drakari shall not add to its woes. Admiral Spire to Drakari Raiders. This is your only warning. Depart empty-handed, or suffer the Imperium's wrath. What is this? Isles from rich Unvigilant. I repeat, withdraw now or be obliterated. These are loyal subjects of the Imperium, not your chattels. Break and attack! Pattern of the Void Serpent! Fill your holes with prisoners, but the Admiral is mine! His scream shall last a lifetime beneath my blade. Drakari vessels closing. Commodore, report. Is that the last of them? Seems so, High Admiral. Always hard to tell with Drakari, but I think so. Secure from battle stations. The border will be safer. At least for a time. Reports of Xenos activity have slackened almost to nothing, High Admiral. Perhaps you may yet serve the Emperor's designs. I am gratified by your praise, Lord Inquisitor. Some good has come of this, my lords. The affected worlds have raised substantial militias to repel the Xenos. They'll serve as effective auxiliaries if the Despoiler's forces return. The situation should never have been allowed to arise. See that there is no repeat. Understood, my lord. Lord High Admiral Spire. A pleasure to hear your voice as ever, Inquisitor. How may I serve the Imperium? One of my agents has been contacted by a Necron turncoat. This individual claims knowledge of dire happenings in the Resnor system. A Necron traitor? I've never heard of such a thing. They are rare, but known to those of us who make study of such things. But is he trustworthy? We will only find that out through investigation. Understood, Inquisitor. I'll dispatch scouts at once. Better still, I'll lead the mission personally. Hi, Admiral. I am receiving a transmission from an unknown source. It is attempting to bypass our protocols. That's impossible. Apparently not. Very well. Put it through. Do I have the pleasure of addressing Lord High Admiral Spire? I suspect you already know the answer. Just as I assume your Inquisitor Darkhammer's informant. Yes. You aspire. That mixture of disapproval and suppressed subservience could belong to no one else. What do you want? Only to help. I see you've uncovered the Neferu dynasty. Such devious fellows. 
They're up to no good. Such as? I don't yet know. But if you the sense your reputation suggests you raise Resna to rubble and allow nothing to escape, we'll speak again, I'm sure. Well, that was... unusual. Can we trust him? I doubt that very much. But there's trouble brewing at Resna. Jinchar is the mineral heart of the Segmentum Obscurus, feeding the Manufactorums of Agrippina and a dozen other sectors. There are few truly colonized planets in this sector, as worlds rich in mineral resource tend towards the inhospitable. The citizens of Chincha are likely to be slaves or penal workers, living out miserable lives in arid mines or aboard freighters. But for some renegades, there are other options. Resnor, the last resting place of vessels whose fury once shuddered the stars. A world rich in resource for those in need, and fraught with peril besides. For it is not only sunlight that caresses the planet's surface, but the toxic emissions from a thousand reactors still trapped in decaying orbit. I am receiving reports from the Resnor Explorator teams. And? They report a Necron presence at Resnor. All data points to a newly awakened tomb world. As if we didn't have enough to worry about. I hate those metal devils. It seems we have a new foe to consider. But we shall prevail, if it is the Emperor's will. Long ago, before mankind was even a footnote in galactic history, the Necrons ruled the stars. But the march of time and grievous war forced them into hibernation. For 60 million years, they slumbered. Untold legions entombed in deathless slumber, waiting for the hour in which their rule would once more shape the galaxy. Now, at long last, that time has arrived. With the coming of Abaddon's Black Crusade, life stirs beneath dead worlds. The mad Pharaoh Kefrek rouses the Neferu dynasty to war. Ships of living metal blacken the stars, immune to the perils of an uncaring void, harnessing technology far beyond mankind's grasp. These vessels bestride the stellar wastes of the gods of old, reuniting the sundered worlds of the Neferu in a single glorious purpose. But Kefrek's plans go deeper than mere reconquest. The expansion of Dominion is but one step along the path that will either see him master of all he surveys, or the world bordering the Eye of Terror reduced to ash. We have reached Res Resnor, Lord High Admiral. Excellent. All vessels, prepare to engage. I advise caution. There are many asteroids in this area, too many to be a natural phenomenon. You do not belong in this place, Upstart. Leave now, or suffer the wrath of the Neferu at my glorious hand. Your forays into Imperial space have cost the Emperor dearly. The debt comes due. You. Your words are like the droning of scarabs, full of fury but lacking import. I have delivered warning, as protocol demands. The choice is yours. Your orders, Lord High Admiral. We proceed. Lord High Admiral, asteroid on collision course. It's vast. We can't allow it to hit us. Understood, Commodore. Helm, take evasive action as needed. Impressive. But I believe fortune more culpable than ability. He doesn't sound impressed. Hard to tell with that tone.
true test begins. Your upstart vessels are no match for our timeless technology. We will endure, and we will triumph. The Emperor stands with us. You have fought well, Admiral. We shall cross swords again. I am sure. What does he mean again? Necron Vessel is emitting strange energy signatures. I need more data. The metal Devil's trying to flee. Malkador's teeth. Jazen warned us to let nothing escape. I want that ship destroyed. Teleport attack successful! Strike quickly, brothers! Teleportarium vectors calculated! Necron vessel destroyed, Lord High Admiral. Good. A Marken ran us too close. Curse the Xenos and their Eldritch technologies. Shall I deploy the fleet for planetary bombardment? Proceed. But I want no more surprises. Report anything out of the ordinary. As you command, Lord High Admiral. Ah, High Admiral Spire. Returned in triumph and perhaps a little wiser? Indeed. Why betray your people like this? My people? They were never little better than you primitives in their way. You've achieved much today. Amakan was their greatest nemesis. It will make things easier. I'm sure we'll speak again. The plot thickens. We're receiving a message from the governor of Laurentix of Bellis Corona. Seems like while we were chasing Drukari slavers, the despoiler took advantage. Hi, Admiral Spire. I wonder what this could be about. Can this wait, my lord? We're moving to reinforce Laurentix. Ah. Yes. Very good, High Admiral. Carry on. Dark Hammer out. Some days I miss Inquisitor Horst. I wonder whatever became of him. Bellis Corona is a vital anchorage, serving as the Imperial Navy's primary base in the Segmentum Obscurus. Over the millennia, its importance has only grown, and it now acts as the Imperium's administrative capital for the entire Segmentum. In the prelude of the 13th Black Crusade, the arch-traitor Typhus descended on Bellus Corona, spreading a devastating contagion named in whispers as the Plague of Unbelief. Despite Typhus' assault and the loss of billions of lives, the Sector held firm. But in recent days, Psychers stationed in Bellus Corona have suffered total collapse, their minds torn asunder by some strange and terrible shadow moving through the Immaterium. This can only bode ill. Father's welcoming embrace. Your rotten form has clung too long to life. Fear not. We shall bring you the release you so richly deserve. We all wallow in mortal corruption before long, Admiral. Won't you embrace the gift of entropy? Allow me to present a gift of my own. Kill the channel and bring us about. Aye, sir.
Enemy sighted! Identified signals inbound on our location. My Yanks Admiral for bringing such a bounty of souls before my apostles' signs. He thinks they're ours. Magus Krawn. I need those signals deciphered. Now. Processing. Admiral. New signals are identified as vessels of the Tyranid hive mind. Emperor, preserve us. The Great Devourer! Tyranids! Here! Where in the blasted hells have they come from? All ships! We have Tyranid vessels inbound. Prepare for new orders. Tyranid vessels have entered weapons range. We should seek repair before further engagement. But our duty is plain. That it is, sir. More's the pity. Detecting further Tyranid signals. Projections indicate a high likelihood that these vessels are only the vanguard of a larger fleet. Such would be in line with our fortunes. All ships, keep your distance from the Tyranid ships. They'll tear you apart if you let them get close. signals. High Admiral, we're spread thin. We should regroup. Agreed. We cannot allow the Devourer so much as a foothold on Laurentix. Otherwise, the entire sector will be imperiled. Merciful Emperor. A full hive fleet. We're in for a fight now, right enough. Such is our duty. All ships, we hold the line here. We are touched by the Emperor's light. We shall not retreat. We shall not fail. Mechanicus vessel non-functional! Bless me, but that was close work. The Imperium shall ever prevail, so long as Valiant souls stand in its defense. Never doubt that, Commodore. Magos Kron, I leave it to you to ensure any biological contamination is contained. Not one spore must be allowed to reach Laurentix. Do you understand me? Confirmed. I shall oversee the cleansing personally. I request permission to stasis seal viable samples for further study back on Agrippina. Very well. 
but no risks. And all transports to fly under full quarantine. Inquisitor Darkhammer, I bring grave news from Laurentix. Be quick about it, High Admiral. All news is grave news. We have encountered a Tyranid Hive fleet. Initial contact suggests a minimal presence, but it's impossible to be certain. We can take no chances. Understood, High Admiral. I shall monitor the situation. I bring dire tidings. More Tyranids have been sighted, not just in the Bellis Corona sector, but also in Agrippina and Nemesis Tessera. Emperor's teeth. Three sectors. Doesn't take much for those monsters to get a foothold, does it? Apparently not. And things will only get worse from here. More will follow. What would you have us do, Governor? Our first priority should be the evacuation of Cardinal Sternhold from Phonasar. Forgive me, Governor, but is that truly our most pressing concern? Sternhold is guardian of a most holy relic and an influential voice besides. He cannot be abandoned. Understood. The Tyranids. The Great Devourer. In all the stars, there has never been a Xenos race more inimical to the survival of mankind. Indeed, they are the bane of all other life. Their origins are but poorly understood. The stuff of rumor and supposition and nightmare. The Adepts of Mars believe that a single, unknowable consciousness guides the High Fleets about their voracious purpose. This consciousness knows only unquenchable hunger. Hive ships serve as synapse nodes, spreading the influence of the Tyranid Hive Mind across the stars. Such is the hive mind's suffocating will that the warp is distorted for light years around. Confusion and terror spread before the hive fleets advance as dreams darken and madness spreads. As the hive fleets advance, the suffocating embrace quenches the Emperor's light and drowns doomed worlds in psychic shadow. But the greatest threat comes from within. Foul creatures known as gene stealers infiltrate unvigilant worlds. A patriarch arises from the population's subverted flesh and projects a psychic beacon to draw the high fleet ever closer. As the gene stealer cult grows in power, they emerge from the shadows of their benighted world. Civil war rages, shaking the planet asunder. Then the skies darken with spores and the High Fleet's voracious tendrils. The cultists exult at the fulfillment of prophecy and their ascension into the light. Their delusions die with them. There are many High Fleets, each but a facet of the immeasurable Tyranid threat. Leviathan is the greatest and has wrought ruin on a scale never before witnessed. Though the great rift arising from Cadia's ruin has severed many of Leviathan's tendrils, many more remain. Even now, one is surging towards the Eye of Terror. Lord High Admiral Spire, do I trust that the incoming ships are under your command? You may, Cardinal. The fleet stands ready to assist in any way that we can. We'll take you aboard after the attack passes. Good. Our sentry craft have reported skirmishes with Tyranid vessels. I hope you have a plan for our salvation. Have faith, Cardinal. Between your prayers and our guns, we shall see these monstrosities cast back into death's icy void. We had better. 
such horrors. To think that the galaxy teems with these creatures. They are punishment for our sins. Punishment, I tell you. Then we shall drown them with righteous fire. Such has always been apt chastisement for the sinful, has it not? The same should hold true for the sins themselves. Main guns report ready, I am. Then let us give the good cardinal a modicum of solace. All batteries, open fire! Swarm is vanquished! Indeed, Cardinal. My thanks for your assistance. Yes, yes, well, I see that thanks to my leadership, the Xenos have been destroyed. I see no reason to delay my departure any longer. Our aid was given gladly, Cardinal. Navigator, we'll depart as soon as the Cardinal and the Relic are aboard. As you command, Lord High Admiral. It will please you to note that Cardinal Sternhull is safe and... Full of voice. Already complaining, is he? It would be inappropriate to answer that question. My thanks for your service. Regretfully, the Tyranid menace will have to wait. An Eldari fleet is moving on Medusa. The Iron Hands chapter's planet. It must be dire if the Iron Hands are calling for aid. They are not. But the Imperium cannot afford Astarte's pride in this hour. You have my authority to intervene. Darkhammer out. Fortress Medusa, a bastion of Omnissiah's will, a blessed day. Duty is its own reward, Magos. And its own perils. Aldari are tricky bastards. I hope we don't return to find the sector overrun with Tyranids. A harsh realm of perpetual gloom that breeds a harsh people. With a dark and polluted sky, Medusa's sun rarely reaches the planet's surface. It is a world of highly unstable geology, with earthquakes and volcanic eruptions constantly reshaping the mountains and seas. The world's resources have long been mined to exhaustion, plundered by the Telstarax, an ancient space station that hangs in orbit to this day. Medusa, then, is a world trapped in the past, marred by old wounds and burdened with pride and fading glory. Yet it remains a powerful symbol, and a weighty prize to he who would claim it. Incursors! Identify yourself, or suffer the wrath of the Iron Hands! This is Lord High Admiral Spire of the Imperial Navy. In the Emperor's name, we join our strength to yours. Very well. In the name of the Gorgon, I accept your aid. How may we be of assistance, Captain? Our defenses are in ruins following the Despoiler's invasion. 
What vessels we have left are needed to protect Medusa. You will seek and destroy the Eldari pirates in our name. Eldari interlopers. This is Lord High Admiral Spire of Battlefleet Gothic. You trespass on a system not your own. Depart, or be annihilated. We are the children of Eleatok. We tread where our spirits call us, and heed not the clumsy threats of your kind. I am not in the business of issuing threats I cannot deliver upon. You primitives. Many voices, but only one impotent refrain. Very well. If it is proof you require, then you shall have it. Hail, Lord High Admiral! What ships we could afford stand beside you in battle? More likely he doesn't trust us to get the job done. Perhaps, but it matters little. You honor us, Captain. We are proud to stand beside the sons of Medusa. As you should be, Lord High Admiral. Let us hurl these brittle Xenos into the void. The last of the Eldari vessels is destroyed. Medusa once again belongs only to the Emperor's servants. Securing from battle stations. We have carried the day. You see, Commodore, Xenos trickery is nothing to Imperial might. And I am glad of it. The clans salute you, High Admiral. You have our gratitude. You honor our service, Captain. Lord Inquisitor, the Eldari have been repelled. Medusa is secured. Acceptable, High Admiral. Most acceptable. But we have allowed the Xenos to distract us for too long. By one means or another, the Eldari must be reckoned with and the Black Fleet destroyed. These tasks are now your sole concern. I do not take your meaning. I have been recalled to Terra. Some trifle about the unexpected death of a colleague. One in which I might have played a small role. She was a traitor, a consorter with foul Xenos. But that hardly matters. My peers wish a discussion. I entrust the defense of the Aegis Ocularis to you. Do not give me cause for regret. My life is service, Lord Inquisitor. Yes. Well, I suppose we'll see. Sentry ships have detected new Tyranid fleets encroaching on our space. That's not good. Not at all. Can we expect reinforcement? Fleets are massing at Bellis Corona, Nemesis Tessera, and Agrippina. But for now, you are our only line of defense. We will not fail you. Those systems must be held at all costs, or else you can expect no reinforcement. My lord, I recommend we commence an aggressive study of the Hive ships. This may yield clues to the location of the fleet's master organism. That won't be easy. The correct path is seldom without obstacles, Commodore. Very well. We'll prioritize as you advise, Magos. My lord. I have deduced the location of the Master Organism. And not before time. Commodore, gather the fleet. It's time to end this. This is the hour. The monstrosity is sated. It is vulnerable to assault. If we strike swiftly, with faith as our guide and courage in our hearts, we will overcome the Guardian vessels and hurl the abomination back into the darkness of the void that birthed it. Stand to battle stations. Humanity's future is in your hand.
хватить! knew this would test us. We keep fighting! Emperor's eyes! What was that? A psychic scream. The Ancient One's energy levels peaked a moment prior. The crews will be shaken. Fleet-wide morale will suffer. Helm, keep us moving! We cannot suffer another attack of that kind. Vessels closing, High Admiral. So the battle shifts in the Abomination's favor. No. We shall triumph. We must! I am detecting another signature. Interference from the Tyranids makes interpretation uncertain. Decode it, and with haste. The hour is dark enough. We cannot afford surprises. As you command, High Admiral. Our brothers have fallen! Permission to join the hunt! Permission granted, Captain. Good. For a man to with or without your leave. Let our spear strike as one! He's broken contact, High Admiral. All ships! End this! The beast is no more. A successful hunt, I Admiral. But a costly one. Let us hope this is an end of the matter. Projection suggests that will be so, High Admiral. As of this moment, the Tyranid menace is at an end. And High Fleet Leviathan, devourer of a thousand worlds, has been driven back into the void. Looks like we've seen the last of the Tyranids. For now. But they always return. We've brought a reprieve for one generation. Maybe two. 
Long enough to settle this other business, though. You are correct, Commodore. The battle for mankind's survival never ends. But we must celebrate our victories where we find them, and praise the Emperor for our deliverance. Our receiving reports that orcs are hunting space titans in the harvest system. Leave them to it. Filthy beasts belong together. No, it won't stop there. We should eliminate the Greenskin Menace while we can. If some of their numbers are on the hunt, they will be vulnerable. We'll take advantage of that. As you command, sir. With warp storms rendering astropathic communications erratic, Segmentum Obscura's High Command continued experiencing difficulty coordinating its forces. Imperial commanders were advised that communications received from distant sources were not to be trusted. Scattered reports indicated that, in addition to chaos incursions, Scarus nurtured an increasing greenskin menace. Eventually, High Command took this threat seriously. They acted too late. What would become known as the Green Crusade had grown from a few scattered and disorganized tribes to a mighty war that threatened to overwhelm the Imperium's embattled holdings. With the capture of Forge World Mordax Prime, the Green Crusade's momentum redoubled. Survivors from the rechristened Mordaka Prime report seeing hundreds of Gargans being fashioned from the debris and skies thick with the choking black smoke of Orc cruisers. It can only be a matter of time before other worlds share Mordax's fate. Hey! Looks like we got some enemies nearby! Come stealing my fishies, I reckon! We come to slaughter you, brute. Nothing more. Liar! You want my fishies? Well, you ain't gonna get them! Bring us a bear, lads! Right with the Dakar! What are those things, High Admiral? I can't say for certain, Commodore. The tides of space house many strange sights. Data repositorium indicates they are classified as void whales. Data is also inconclusive beyond the name. I wonder why the orcs want them. My fishies! Get your favorite hands off from your rats! Skin fleet has been destroyed, High Admiral. Acknowledged. There is a mystery here. 
What did those orcs want with these creatures, and why? Who can say? There's no predicting a green skin. At least this won't trouble anyone else. Data recovered from the wreckage suggests that the orcs were hoping to lure an even vaster creature with the Space Titan entrails. Delightful. Then again, my first captain said something about a hungry beast that plowed the tides of the warp seeking fresh meat. We have troubles enough without inventing threats to be faced, Commodore. Spare us your tall tales, and get us away from this place. Not suddenly nervous, are you, sir? About something being drawn to the Titan innards? You have your orders, Commodore. High Admiral Spire! Yes, Lord Inquisitor. The frequency of Orc raids is unacceptable. I demand you attend to the problem at once. Of course. These matters are best dealt with through a display of strength. I need only the location of the war boss. His defeat will shatter his followers. He's on Mordax, or so my agents tell me. Attend to the matter, I Admiral. Or need I find someone else to do so? You miss? Here? Coming to my favorite world? Oh, we gotta clump ya! And clump ya good! You suffer from overconfidence, Orc. That world has been yours too long. We come to reclaim it. <laughs> You're having a laugh! Yumi's is weak, and I... I'm strongest! Blitz Ripper is the strongest! Orcs are amongst the deadliest of the Xenos races. Multitudinous, belligerent, and possessed of brutal cunning. They spread across the stars like a green tide. Even in the war-riven sectors around the Eye of Terror, forever beset by chaos, they rank amongst the greatest threats. As battle raged between the Imperium and the dread forces of chaos, the Orcs gained a foothold upon ravaged worlds, using them as staging areas from which they could slingshot deeper into Imperial territory. Orc technology is ramshackle, but terrifyingly effective. Combining mismatched components, scavenged gear, and intuitive leaps to forge weapon systems whose inner workings baffle the most experienced of the Imperium's adepts, but lack for nothing in sheer, unbridled firepower. In much the same way, an Orc Warlord can take a multitude of squabbling clans and forge them into an unstoppable army. Such a war has the sheer unbridled might necessary to conquer the stars themselves, leaving naught but rubble in its wake. As its momentum grows, so do its numbers grow, swollen by green skins drawn to the promise of bloodlust, teeth, and loot. A nearby warp entity is invigorating drive signatures. That means we can detect every greenskin scrap pile in the combat zone. Yes, but it also means they can see us. There'll be no possibility of silent running today. At least the orcs won't be able to hide from our rock. Yeah, the only boss is finally shown his ugly fizzog. Greenskins. Pick up a rock and they come scurrying out from beneath. True enough, sir. But where's the war boss? A good question. I came to do battle with your leader, not a lackey. You ain't worth his time! No ball to you, you mees! Allow me to prove otherwise. Commodore, attack! Take 
to show them tin scales who's the strongest. Oi, Gospiter! Why are you ready in the fight? Change me mind. I ain't taking orders from you no more. You ain't got a mind! You follow my sogging orders! No! You follow my sogging orders! The Greenskins are firing on each other as well as us. Huh. No discipline. Indeed. Let us make the most of their foolishness. Successful. Boarding caused critical damage. When they had us surrounded. Indeed. The Orcs would conquer us all if they but united around a single leader. As it is, their disorder allows us to destroy them piecemeal. And thank the Emperor for that. Always. The Green Crusade, once an unstoppable tide of war, is all but washed away. So much for the Orcs of Scarus. Indeed. But the Greenskin Plague is never truly ended. It is for us to put this reprieve to good use, and focus on our true enemy. Aye, sir. Never a shortage of traitors needing the Emperor's mercy, is there? There will be a good few less by the time we're done. Commodore, report! Right, sir. Near as we can tell, there are four lieutenants working under Abaddon. His Chosen. A tangle of black-hearted traitors and no mistake. We've crossed lances with Threxos before. The others are new to me. Although I believe Devram Corda has made an enemy of Eldrathane Voidstinger. There may be opportunity here. If we want to make a dent in the Black Fleet, we'll have to kill the lot. And they won't die easy. A sound strategy. We take their heads. It'll slow the Despoilers' advance. Make ready. Cadia calls for vengeance. Admiral Spire, I knew you'd seek me out before long. Obliteration is the only possible reward for villainy such as yours. This meeting was inevitable. Why play so coy, Admiral? You are drawn to me, to the pleasures that only I can provide. Only I can sate your obsessions, your innermost desires. Tear that vessel apart! I want that depraved monster blasted to ash! As you command. So angry. So deliciously wrathful. I offer your deepest desires, and you repay me thus. Your death is all I desire. And to think I spared your life all those centuries ago. A thankless child you have proven. Spared me? I think not. But I did. 
Long ago, in the wake of the Gothic War, I held my fire. Even then, I knew you would fall to me. Submit to me. My soul is in the Emperor's charge, and no others. Heavy damage registered. The sadistic glee is destroyed, High Admiral. The Lord Purgator's reign is ended. As it should. And yet I cannot help but wonder. Did he speak truly? Did he save my life? More fool him if he did, Lord High Admiral. Perhaps. No. The Emperor was my deliverance that day. The angels of Baal, his righteous hand. Corda's delusions are ended. That will suffice. Any distress hymnals from Corda's last known location? None register, my lord. I believe it's over. Devram Corda is dead. Good. One less lackey for Abaddon to call upon. So, we have a communication from Eldrathane Voidstinger. Unexpected? Very well. Let me hear it. Admiral Spire, I see you have survived where your puppet master did not. Speak plainly. Or not at all, Eldrathane. I merely observe that your Admiral Drang has met a deserved end, as has the vile Devram Corda. I am minded to forgive your trespasses upon the former's order, in gratitude for your ending the tyranny of the latter. Corda sent too many souls to the gullet of she who thirsts. I see. And your vengeance for Craft World Astara? Consummated some time ago. You cannot be everywhere, Admiral, and the Void is dangerous to... primitives. Murdering Xenos. Quiet, Commodore. Then what would you have of me, if not retribution? If Rain, emissary of Enid, believes that our races would be well served to face the archenemy together, she offers you a chance to prove your worthiness of such an alliance. And how would I prove that worthiness? Assist in the reclamation of an ancient artifact known as the Spirit Gate from the world of Lysis. In return, Ivrain offers an immediate cessation of violence and pact of mutual defense. You may confirm your acceptance through deed. A truce? With the perfidious Eldari? I forbid this course, High Admiral. Inquisitor, I thought you had returned to Terra. This matter called to me as more important than trivia concerning Inquisitor Valeria. You cannot trust the Eldari. You will ignore their request. With all due respect, Inquisitor, we have an opportunity for more than an alliance. We have a chance to learn what the Eldari intend. True enough. Very well. Proceed. But remember your loyalties, High Admiral. Yes, Inquisitor. Admiral Spire, you are late. We have held vigil over Antharic's forces for many days. Late. We arrived as soon as we were able. And yet too late. The Spirit Gate has been stolen by disciples of the Architect of Fate. 
you will atone through reclamation. It must be taken intact. Do not destroy the vessel, or all is lost. So you would have us do what you cannot. If you wish Ivrain's blessing, your course is clear. Board the flagship. Reclaim the Spirit Gate. So, the Aldari send another pawn my way. They are manipulative creatures, are they not? Can you not see the path they have set you upon? Ignore the deceiver. Remain focused. The Spirit Gate is near. Indeed. I have it aboard this very ship. <laughs> my lord. The Spirit Gate signature is registering on the vessel designate the Phoenix Ashes. I have three score security battalions awaiting your order, my Lord High Admiral. Get us aboard. We'll get it done. No sign of any Aldari artifacts here, my Lord. I did find a cabal of sorcerers, performing some kind of... We killed them all. Energy signatures faded. Must have been tied to that ritual. I foresaw your victory. Jackson, get aboard. That vessel was a decoy. You dance to a tune you cannot hear. We've another vessel in the battle zone. Energy signature present on the new arrival. Designate the Eternum Surveyor. Maxon, it seems the vessel are waiting your pleasure. By all means, my lord. My lads are ready for a fight. We'll not fail you. Where you see certainty, I see choice. Fate is never as straightforward as you might wish. <laughs> we're taking heavy losses, but we're almost there. Looks like some kind of temple. Registering a multi-spectrum energy spike aboard the traitor vessel. It's a trap. It's going to blow! Maxon! Maxon! Get your men out of there! Get them! It is too late. I will preserve you, Maxon. Magos, report! Why are you so easily deceived? You dance to a tune you cannot hear. We've another vessel in the battle zone. Energy signature present on the new arrival. Interference makes interpretation uncertain. Telemetry indicates the Phoenix Ashes. Repeat. Maxon, it seems a vessel are waiting your pleasure. By all means, my lord. My lads are ready for a fight. We'll not fail you. Where you see certainty, I see choice. Fate is never as straightforward as you might wish. <laughs> I have another signature. The Spirit Gate is aboard. Have we enough men left to board that vessel? I don't know. Perhaps, with a bit of righteous fire in their bellies. The Spirit Gate's energy signature is interfering with our war engines. We cannot depart until the artifact is disabled. I have no intention of leaving until this sorcerer and his followers are all dead. Castellan Manipal teleported! Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike! Assault crews report success! Thane made his choice well. Ivrain will be pleased. You have the spirit gate? It seems my faith was not misplaced. It is my honor to introduce Ivrain, daughter of Shades and emissary of Ini. Admiral Spire, you have done a great service today. Your actions have set fate's river flowing upon a new course. What I did? I did from duty. If that is truly what you believe, now you will deliver the Spirit Gate to my representatives. 
By the cursed nine, he will not! Inquisitor, what is this? This spirit gate is a tainted Xenos artifact. It falls under my authority. It shall be quarantined, studied, and dissected. No, this cannot be. Without the spirit gate, Admiral Spire, this carrion eater does not see the wider truths at play. He does not understand. Deliver the spirit gate to us. It is vital beyond comprehension. Inquisitor, perhaps we should... Hi, Admiral Spire. By the authority of the Inquisitorial Seal, I command you to place the Xenos artifact in my keeping. My lord, please understand. We cannot fight this war on two fronts. The Eldari will serve better as allies than as foes. The Chaos Threat must supersede all others. Ivrain, we await your emissaries. We will surrender the Spirit Gate. Again, you prove Eldrathane's faith well-founded. It is refreshing to see one of your kind willing to follow through on an oath made. I see. This is my error. I place too much trust in you, Spire. These Xenos have corrupted you. What happens next, you brought upon yourself. Vessels of the fleet! The once High Admiral Spire has betrayed the authority invested in him. I call upon all truly loyal sons of the Imperium to place themselves under my orders. We shall remain true to our duty. The Righteous Fury is readying its warp engines. It's not the only one. How many? Too many. Admiral Spire, it would seem that your Inquisitor has lost himself to madness. Even now, he readies an assault against Craftworld Astara. Commodore, is this true? No way to know, my lord. But it sounds like the sort of thing Darkhammer would do. He has a reputation. By the terms of our alliance, I demand you bring your vessels to Astara's defense. She wants us to fight our own ships now. Perhaps it won't come to that. Darkhammer may yet listen to reason. Admiral Spire, once again you are late. Inquisitor Darkhammer's vanguard has already been sighted. We are here, and we will do as we must. Has there been any sign of the Righteous Fury? As yet, our foe cowers in the void. Your fleet will adopt a defensive position around Astara. Makes you wonder why they even need us, doesn't it? Not like a craft world doesn't have a fleet of its own. War leaves many scars. It may be that craft world Astara is not the power it once was. That would certainly explain their need for an alliance. Ever get the feeling you're being manipulated? What glories Belial IV once knew are long behind it. Destroyed a millennia ago by the onset of chaos. Yet it remains almost holy ground for the alien Eldari, who once counted this now barren waste as a jewel within their star-spanning empire. Righteous Fury and its fleet are on final approach. Spire, you will be our tabulous. Void Stinger and I shall serve as your wings. Why can't they just say center, port, and starboard? I'm gladdened that you chose this course, Admiral. It will be a pleasure to fight alongside you once more. I yet hope this can be resolved without bloodshed. Battle here gives me no joy. Sorrow is part of the times, Admiral. Allow it to grant you purpose, as we do. This is the Righteous Fury to all vessels under the flag of the once Admiral Spire. Return to the fold and you shall be spared judgment. Remain allied to the perfidious Eldari and suffer the Emperor's wrath. Lord Inquisitor, I beg you, turn aside from the course you've chosen. The Eldari are not our enemies. 
Spire, I had such hopes for you. Your errors are mine, and I shall see them all expunged. My cyclonic torpedoes will tear that brittle craft world apart! The craft world's infinity cannons are charging. They will soon be ready to fire. I've seen those things in action. They'll help even the odds. They cannot sustain a barrage, and once fixed, the firing coordinates cannot be altered. Do you think you can keep your lumbering grocks out of the blast zone, Admiral Spire? We shall endeavor to do nothing foolish. The Infinity Cannons are ready to fire. The Dark Hammer's flagship is beyond their range. The craft world moves. Can its engines not reduce the distance? It will not be easily accomplished, but it shall be done. What was all that about? It seems our theories about Astara are correct. You noted the hull scars. Seems they might need us more than we need them. Enemy sighted! Let fire and ruin flow! Every man, every vessel under my command is sworn to the Emperor's service unto death! Inquisitor, please abandon this madness, this waste! Too much death today, for no purpose. Too much. Too much. The tally is far from reckoned. I shall strike that craft world from the stars myself. I must be meaning to launch cyclonic torpedoes. Those things crack plans. The righteous fury is closing. In three minutes it will be within bombardment. You must prevent this.
assault crews report success. Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike. Assault crews report success. Lord High Admiral Spire. Inquisitor Darkhammer is dead. His madness ends with him. Stand down, or share his fate. They're breaking off, my lord. Weapons powering down. Good. Have them boarded. We will purge Darkhammer's acolytes from the fleet, and put this sorry episode behind us. You have done well, Admiral Spire. I will give orders that we depart this region. We will travel you know. Wait! What about our alliance? Why? We just had one, did we not? We agreed nothing concerning the Jewish. And I think we need its course. Like I said, perfidious. Listening posts report no trace of Uldari activity. Then Ivrain has departed as she promised. Would the Aldari had joined their forces to ours? Better off without them, far as I can tell. They'd only stab us in the back tomorrow. Indeed. Perhaps this is for the best. Caliban. A world torn asunder by betrayal, and haunted by the treacheries of the ancient past. What remains is shrouded in mystery and shielded from the prying eyes of the Inquisition by the Dark Angels who once called this world home. But war has a way of bringing secrets to light. As conflict rages across the sector, who knows what glimmers of truth might flare beneath the light of dying stars. Admiral Spire! Surely my eyes deceive me! Stand down, man! We are not your enemy! That's Captain Abridal. It can't be. Captain Abridal? But you died. Hundreds of years ago. At the end of the Gothic War. This is impossible. Hundreds of years? No! Has it been so long? The Blackstone Fortress's energy beams flung me into the warp. I thought it only a few days. Weeks at most. Lord High Admiral, what are your orders? I... It isn't Abridol. It can't be. I saw him die. We proceed. Emperor, have mercy. Enemy sighted! Is this our thanks for sacrifice? Lord High Admiral? It's an illusion, don't you see? Sorcery plumped from the depths of hell by Scythian's witchery. Oh, there is in here. But which is which? What is real? The voice or the vessel? Perhaps both. Perhaps neither. Do you feel your sanity slipping away, Admiral? Do you feel your mind unraveling? Keep firing!
Enemy flagship destroyed, Lord High Admiral. Abradol is long dead. He perished a hero, giving his life to save billions. Zagthian's death is the finest tribute I could ever offer such a warrior. Lord High Admiral, what if Captain Abradel was truly aboard that vessel? Then we brought him mercy, Commodore. The hero of Schindelgeist would never have set his life above duty. My conscience is clear. So perishes Zagthian the Broken. It was too quick for my liking. That heretic deserved to suffer. It seems to me that our enemies have altogether too many allies, while we have few of our own. This is Master Osmadio of the Dark Angels. To all righteous warriors of the Imperium, we request assistance at Caliban. Repeat, we... Do we respond, High Admiral? Duty allows no other course, would you not say? Admiral, my thanks for your prompt arrival. We are here to provide assistance, Master Osmadiel. We need only your precise location. Transmitting now. Confirmed. The identification ciphers are old, but correct. Relaying coordinates to the strategium. Old codes. That's unusual. Duty has carried us far from the rock, Admiral. I would not expect an outsider to comprehend the burden. We have them. Let us not waste our advantage. Agreed. Commodore, deploy the fleet. We will destroy these traitors before they realize their danger. Aye, sir. Oh. Successful teleport strike! Troop transition successful! Castellan Manipold teleported! Lightning strike successful! without your aid, Admiral. I go where the Emperor sends me. As do we all, though some paths are less direct than others. You have my thanks. Admiral Spire. Master Korahale. I thought you slain in Cadia's death throes. A common misconception. By order of the Supreme Grand Master, I demand you join your blades to ours. In what cause? You harbor a traitor in your midst and cannot recognize him as such. Assist us now, and your folly will be forgotten. So it has come to this. I should have known better. These wounds are not to be healed no matter how far they lie in the past. There is no redemption for your kind. Only the absolution of death. I don't understand. What? No explanation will serve you well, Admiral. You have no part in this battle. If you have any respect for the deeds we wrought together, you will stand down. It will play out as it must. No, Admiral Spire. Your duty is plain. You must fight. Waiting on your orders, sir. All vessels falling back, as per your orders, sir. Very good, Commodore. Admiral Spire. You have chosen poorly. On the contrary, Master Korahale. He shows greater wisdom than either of us. It was not supposed to end this way, but it seems that time is not right. I don't understand. Not any of it. Treasure your ignorance. It may yet shield you. And what of you? We shall return to seclusion and continue the battle from exile. May your blade find victory as keenly as it did in the Gothic War, Admiral. 
The Skella subsector is located to the galactic west of the Eye of Terror. Its capital planet, Skellis, is a feral world and was once the homeworld of the Sons of Malice. Once loyal space marines, they turned on the Imperium in the years leading to the 13th Black Crusade. The original name of the Sons of Malice has been lost to Imperial record, but it is speculated that they were one of the 20 chapters of the Astartes Priestess, a founding created with the express purpose of safeguarding the region surrounding the Eye of Terror. The cold and unforgiving wastes of Skellis provide the Sons of Malice no shortage of barbaric recruits. Indeed, the Sons' foul religious practices trace their origins to those of the tribesmen from which they sprang. A scouring conducted by the Cadian 331st was thought to have ended these grisly traditions. Certainly, the natives were thought exterminated and the Sons of Malice driven off. But rumors have surfaced, suggesting that the world is not so empty as was believed. It would seem that the Sons of Malice still stake a claim to this miserable planet. They will surely do whatever they must to make it theirs once more. My blessed Admiral, this day has been long in the coming. Embrace the Grandfather. Let me share his gifts. I come to purge your contagion, not fuel it. And yet, the plague of unbelief already will take root all the same. You will succumb. You will all succumb. Never. The Emperor's fire shall end your blight for good. You cannot kill me. My body burdens with Grandfather's blessings. My flesh seethes with his glory. Righteousness burns away all heresy, even yours. You are deluded. Let the rot fill your bones. Let Nurgle's seeping anguins curdle your blood. <laughs> Only then will you see the truth. I have the Emperor's truth in my thoughts, and his light in my eyes. I need nothing more. Intensify the bombardment. With pleasure, Lord High Admiral. Enemy sighted! Clean up the rest, my lord. The last of the plague ships has been destroyed. And not before time. Let us hope that our holy fire redeems their corrupted flesh. And our own. Explain. I am receiving shipwide reports of symptoms indicative of walking pox. Recommend purge and quarantine protocols. How many? 
estimate 48.63% of surviving crew are infected. Kill half of our crew? Lord High Admiral. It must be done, Commodore. Oversee the purge and ensure the martyrs' names are recorded for official recognition. Skyrak Slaughterborn is dead. An adequate performance. But we must do better. Abaddon will not be so easily taken. We put an end to Slaughterborn. We'll best his master too. You wait and see. Your confidence is infectious, Commodore. Have a care it doesn't sour to pride. High Admiral Spire. A pleasure to renew your acquaintance. What do you want, Trezin? My wants are beyond you, alas. But I am not above the granting of gifts. We want no gift from you. Then I won't warn you that the Neferu are awakening the Dark Throne, a colossal battle station of delightful potency. Nor shall I inform you that it is hidden somewhere amongst the Sentinel Worlds, as you want no gift, I mean. Again you betray your kind. Not my kind, High Admiral. The Neferu. And they offended me. You might keep that in mind. To the eye of Terra's galactic southwest lies the barren expanse of the Sentinel Worlds. The Imperium has only the sparsest foothold in this region, and many mysteries abound. There are so many rumors, so many drunken spaces tales, that it had become impossible to separate fact from fiction. But the feeling remains some ancient, buried instinct that something terrible lies sleeping amidst the Sentinel Worlds. And it would be best not to rouse it. Lord High Admiral, analysis of recent engagements and sightings of Necron supply fleets have provided a likely location for the Dark Throne. Assuming it even exists. Assuming that, yes. What do you have for me, Magos? High probability that the Dark Throne resides in the Lone Star System. Have a hymnal sent, requesting reinforcements. We have work to do. I understand you've discovered the Dark Throne's location. How do you... Never mind. Yes, we've uncovered anomalous activity in the Lone Star System. Yes, that would make sense. Do not engage them lightly. A marker may be dust on the solar winds. But the Neveru have no shortage of warriors. Nor have we. Are our reinforcements here? New vessels entering the battle zone. Hail and well met, Lord High Admiral. The Blood Angels stand ready to assist. As do the Raven Guard, and with less bluster. You have my gratitude. The coming battle will challenge us like no other. The Blood Angels recall too well the lessons of the World Engine. Seemingly brother to this construction. We shall assist however we can. Archmagos Numerian apologizes, but a warp storm has delayed his arrival. He pledges to join us as soon as able. We cannot wait. This ends now. Eyes of it. Have faith, Commodore. We shall prevail. All vessels, prepare to engage. Acknowledged. We shall prevail. Victory will be won on the ground. Not in space. Distract the foe, and the sons of Korax will do what must be done. Registering energy flare on the surface of the Dark Throne, my lord. That can't be good. All ships, brace for impact. Enemy sighted! Energy readings for that discharge are beyond the capacity of our analysis, my lord. One thing is certain. We won't survive many of those. Shadow Captain! Cursed Shades! There's too much interdiction fire from those defense platforms. We've lost two Thunderhawks already. Our drop pods won't survive a planet strike. We will have to destroy the defense before the ground assault can begin. There is no glory in failure. Help! You heard him. Set course for the nearest defense platform. 
Enemy sighted! Enemy defense platform... More Necron vessels entering the battle zone. Defense platforms are destroyed, but we're still facing heavy fire from the surface. To the dark winds with your caution. The battle slips from our grasp. Engines to full! Solari! Battle barge is destroyed, but we have reached the surface. I have a large vortex bot, and I intend to use it. It will take time to get it into position. You'll never get clear. No, I imagine not. Buy us time. We will do the rest. We need more ships. You have them. My regrets for the delay, Lord High Admiral. I cannot hold you to account for the vagaries of the warp, Archmagos. Join your fire to ours, and all is forgiven. We have located primary focusing chamber. Encountering heavy resistance. Need support. Can you supply targeting coordinates? Receiving them now, my lord. Very good. Prepare for bombardment. Focusing chamber destroyed, my lord. That should put an end to that cannon of theirs. Solari. My thanks. We do our duty. schemes. You will kneel before me, broken in body and will. Solari, what progress? The bomb is almost in position! We need more time! And more blades! Time is fast escaping us, Solari. But you shall have whatever warriors we can spare. Commend you, Solari. Commodore, we need an extraction zone. No! No time! We are overrun! I strike this blow for the Emperor! Victorious of Mortis! The Necron vessels are disengaging. The Dark Throne. Projections indicate it will fully collapse within hours. Victory is ours, but at great cost. Prepare a missive to deliverance. The Raven Guard should know how their brothers died. Never known an Astartes die easily. But this was something else. Indeed. Solari was the Emperor's righteous hand this day. The threat of the Neferu dynasty was no more. Scattered across the stars. And with that... 
The ancient menace is at last destroyed. With your permission, High Admiral, I will contact Mars. They will wish to take samples for further study. Are we sure that's a good idea? There could be anything left behind. Who knows what might happen? And I can think of no one more suited to managing the consequences than the Adeptus Mechanicus. Send your missive, Magos. Yes, High Admiral. For this day, you may have bested my lieutenants at Halotas, but I will have your skull. I have heard such claims before, and yet here I stand. My skull is not yours to claim, traitor. We shall see. <laughs> How will Korn's praises, Admiral, for your bones will be in his care soon enough. Let the stars scream with the glory of battle! Let blood flow for the glory of corn! Callow worms! Worshippers of the false emperor! Your corpse god cannot save you! Corn conquers! The blood grants us strength! I wish he'd shut up. Yes! More! Let carnage be loosed upon the stars! Rend flesh from bone! Pound on a mantium to dust! <laughs> you are no warrior, Threxos, but a masterless apostate beast. We shall dispatch you as such. Yes! A beast! A slaughterer of men! A defiler of temples! And ravager of kings! For corn! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! Ruling mess, that one. Likely a monster long before the Dark God set their claws into his black soul. That's the last of them. All specs confirms Hellbreed's fleet is blood and wreckage. Korn will have to be satisfied with the skulls of his own this day. Offer my congratulations to the crew. This is a heavy blow. We have weakened the despoiler this day. Aye, sir. Congratulations on your victory. The Emperor's victory. He stands with us always. Threxos Hellbreed has met his end. An overdue victory remains a victory. And one to celebrate. High Admiral, I have received communication from an Explorator fleet. They report a warp oddity that allows passage through the Cicitrix Maledictum and to Holy Terror. Glad tidings, and a welcome change. But I'm sure there is a complication. Indeed. There are reports of supply convoys disappearing in the Ozymandias cluster. Perhaps they are simply losing contact with the Astronomicon. Or perhaps it is something more. Either way, we should investigate. The road to Terra must be kept clear. We have the missing supply ships. More accurately, what remains of them. Their wreckage is strewn about this area. Damnation! I'll have answers. Bring us in for a closer look. Aye, Admiral. Helm, you heard the order. Well, what do we have? They're all dead as dust, sir. Looks like someone brought siege weaponry to bear. Then it's safe to discount navigational error. This bodes ill. Reading vessels inbound. Traitor signatures. All hands! Battle stations! Vessels. 
Is that the planet killer? It is indeed. A memory of yesterday, come to haunt the present. I thought we ended its terror in the Gothic War. No matter. This time, there will be a final reckoning. See what is washed up on the Eye of Terror's tides. Admiral Spire. Just as our agents promised, they are better even than I believed. It looks like Drang wasn't the last of their spies. The whole administratum's rotten with them, most likely. Your luck is ended, Admiral. Or do you think your arms can withstand both the wrath of the planet killer and the Iron Warriors? Stand firm, men. We defeated the planet killer once before. We will do so again. Energy buildup detected, High Admiral. That accursed thing's about to fire. All ships, clear that kill zone, now! New vessels entering the engagement zone, High Admiral. Adeptus Astartes' signatures. It's the Macrag's honor. Admiral Spire, I see you've brought my prey to heal. For that I thank you. We shall end its threat together. It will be my honor, Lord Commander. Primarch, here. I never thought I'd see the day. All hands! The Lord Commander calls us to war. We shall not be found wanting. Victory is ours, and it is well won in the Emperor's name. We have met our sacred duty through blood and toil, and will do so again. What of the spies? That doesn't bode well. A problem for another day, Commodore. Have no doubt that they will find judgment. I confess I had my doubts about this course, but the Emperor strode with us in the darkness and brought us victory. Having a few score macro cannon helped, it has to be said. Yes. Faith and fury. The foundations of the Imperium, and the tools that may yet bring us to salvation. Let Abaddon beware. We have fortified our defenses, clawed our worlds back from the clutch of heretics and traitors. It is well past time to carry the fight to our enemy's heartlands. Into the Eye of Terror? With respect, sir. We don't have nearly enough vessels for such a campaign. Then we shall find them. The hour of vengeance has come. With the Emperor's foremost son as Lord Commander of the Imperium, a new hope stirred. Admiral, I congratulate you on your victory. My thanks, Lord Commander. I do my duty. And you do it well. You may consider my forces under your command. This is your sphere of battle, and I trust your instincts. I hope to prove myself worthy of that trust, Lord Commander. This is a poor time to rely on hope, Admiral. Prove yourself through deeds. My lord, that's a lot of ships. It will serve, if the Emperor is with us. How could he not be? We're on the brink of a righteous crusade. True enough, Commodore. True enough. A fleet stands ready, my Lord High Admiral. We await only our orders. Set course for the Eidolon Sector. This campaign will test us as never before. A difficult voyage, Lord High Admiral, but achievable. However, we will be without anchorage. We shall manage. It is a rare campaign that proceeds without difficulty. 
But we are equal to the task. That we are, sir. The Eidolon Sector lies at the heart of the Eye of Terror. At the point where reality bleeds away into the formless tides of the Immaterium. Stronghold of the Despoiler, headwater of every Black Crusade, there is no mortal law here that is not imposed by cruelty, and no physical law beyond the whim of the Dark Gods. The Plague Planet, home of Mortarion and his Death Guard Traitor Legion. This is a world of 10,000 contagions, where skies weep with pus and seas teem with disease. Sortiaris is the current homeworld of the Thousand Suns Traitor Legion. Ringed by the screaming souls of the betrayed dead and blasted by the tides of the warp. It is a planet no sane man would tread without cause, or at least without a numberless army at his back. Oliensis. Throne of decadence, and bane of many a righteous soul. The world is a living perversion, a deathless monument to the pursuit of pleasure above all else. Though the world's origins are argued over by the Adepts of Terror, it is known that at least one Space Marine chapter met its demise on the Oliensis surface. Reports suggest that those who fall to Oliensis' embrace are reborn as blasphemous mirrors of their prior selves, shackled to the will of Slanish. Drakasi, Korn's slaughter pit. Only the strongest survive the crucible of its arenas, and then only until the favor of the gods turns against them once more. Eidolon itself was once an Eldari world, but now lies shackled by the madness of chaos, with an empire dedicated to each of the chaos powers constantly vying with the others for dominance. It is said that there are more ways to die on Eidolon than anywhere else, though as no one ever returns, this can be considered little more than rumor. And so, at last, the Loyalist Kerr comes slinking from his kennel, fangs bared. How many centuries have you sought my death, little Admiral? How heavy does your failure weight you down? Does hubris gnaw at your bones? That you still draw breath is only because I find you amusing. But my patience grows thin, and your prospects thinner still. I shall scatter your pathetic fleet across the stars. To slay the Despoiler, we must first track him to his lair. Easier said than done. The Despoiler's minions must know their master's location. And if not, there will be battle plans buried in their vessel strategiums. Understood, High Admiral. If the information exists, we will recover it. Blood, thunder, and a frontal assault. The Imperial Navy's speciality. We have the Chaos Admiral's data store, but it has been corrupted. The Dark God's influence, no doubt. Magos Kron, can you extract the information we require? Processing. Yes. I believe retrieval possible. Then work with haste. But beware you are not corrupted in turn. I have recovered galactic coordinates from the data store. Transmitting to the Kato artifacts. This place is the Despoiler's lair in the Savagar dust cloud. Bad business fighting within a nebula. Our duty is plain. Pray to the Emperor we shall triumph. Set course for the Savagar dust cloud. As you command, Lord. All vessels. This is Lord High Admiral Spire. We are at the Despoiler's gate. Even now his fleet moves to engage us. The false blessings of the Dark Gods are upon them, and they seek our deaths. But we do not fight alone. The Emperor walks with us. We are his hand, and his flaming sword. So too come the spirits of the dead, of Cadia, Laurentix, Amistul, and a thousand more. 
They lend us strength and demand vengeance in return. They shall not find us wanting. May warrior's fortune be with us all. So you are here, little admiral. Face me in battle. I will grant you a good death. This is no place for mortals. It is the realm of the gods and their champions. By venturing here, you forfeit existence. Against the assembled might of my legion, you are nothing. The Despoiler himself. At last. Magos Kron, I want a location. Warmaster Abaddon, you no longer have anywhere to hide. Many lifetimes I have sought your head. Today I claim it for my Emperor. <sighs> In your final moments, the Emperor's falsehoods will fall from your eyes, and you shall perceive the truth. The Vengeful Spirit has taken station deep behind the Chaos Fleet. Enemy vessels are moving to engage. Very well. We shall not disappoint them. All crews to their posts. The Emperor's light is upon us. We shall not fail him this day. We are coming for you, Despoiler. You have plagued this galaxy for too long. We shall cross lances, but only in the hour of my choosing. Karaz Gorflad, you have my leave to launch your assault. Blood for the Blood God! Skulls for the Skull Throne! Enemy sighted! Boarding caused critical damage. Boarding successful. Your curs have fallen, Warmaster. Their treachery at last repaid in death. Can you offer nothing better? Spire, my followers are as numberless as the Emperor's lies. Vizier Yukani, you may proceed. As you will it. So shall it be done. No! The glory of this kill shall be mine! I deserve it! I will taste his fear! Sound the fanfare! What an honor. Everyone wants us dead. We have two enemy fleets on approach. I've survived worse in my time. I will do so again. We have our duty, Commodore. Aye, my lord. The Emperor protects. Both our flaming sword and our bulwark in dark times. Prepare to fire! Our wrath cannot be denied! Boarding calls critical damage! Boarding successful! Do not destroy.
disappoint me. I will bring you his head, but the rest goes to the caution. Such a brew his flesh will make. I can almost taste it. Hold firm. We bested the others. We shall not fail now. You heard the Admiral. Stand to your guns. Show that pox-ridden swine what we can do. Boarding caused critical damage. Boarding successful. Our wrath cannot be denied. Boarding caused critical damage. Boarding successful. Boarding caused critical damage. Master, you have no more lackeys to send. Will you face me now? Or is a traitor's apostasy exceeded only by his rank cowardice? Your words are those of a child, blind and mewling in the darkness. I will scatter your pitiful fleet, and you will die by inches. Your torment eat out across eternity. Only when you sing my praises will I permit the Dark Gods to claim your worthless scrap of soul. Let's slip the fleet! The Vengeful Spirit is underway. The whole damn fleet's underway. Steady, Commodore. The Emperor stands with us. We will prevail. So long as we keep to our courage. And to our guns. Guns, I think, will serve us well in this hour. As you say, my lord. I just wish we had more. All the better to light the darkness. Our vessel screams! My lord! A new fleet has entered the battle zone! Is there no end to the Despoiler's might? It's not the Despoiler. It's... Have no fear, warriors of mankind. For death's emissaries fight beside you this day. Ivrain, here. But you ended our alliance. We need no alliance to act in common cause. The foe before us eclipses all other enmities. Less than I, Duran, and Spire. Bring this to conclusion. I don't believe it. You wanted more guns, Commodore. Now you have them. Disengage! Disengage! Boarding caused critical damage! Boarding successful! Bulkhead's failing! Boarding caused critical damage! If I offer my service and your cause, we're all sons of terror. We share the same foes. Join our fight against the Despoiler. To victory or to death, you may depend upon it.
They give voice only to their own suffering. I'm so We're doing it. The vengeful spirit's showing massive structural damage. It's starting to come apart. No. This cannot be. I shall not fall to a puppet of the corpse emperor. Intensify firepower. Tear that ship apart! At long last, at the cost of countless millions of lives, Abaddon the Despoiler finally met his end, and a debt owed since the darkest days of the Horus Heresy was at last repaid. But his death could not undo the legacy of devastation he had wrought. The Imperium would face other battles against the Dark Gods. This was no ending, but a new beginning. Cadia had fallen, but its name and legend lived on. Warriors of mankind, the Emperor has tested us, and we have not been found wanting. By his will and our faithfulness, we have journeyed through darkness, through fire, and now emerge into the brilliant light of a new dawn. But that light shines only so long as we keep it fed. Through our sacrifice, through the valor of the Imperial Navy, mankind shall endure. There is no peace in these stars, only a crucible of war in which our faith is forever tested. Our service we owe to our comrades, our lives we spend for the Imperium, and our souls now and forevermore belong to the Emperor.